A tragedy in South Fulton. Two people are dead, two others missing, and another five in the hospital after a massive house fire. This happened again in South Fulton. And tonight, more questions than answers on this fire. Atlanta News First reporter Chelsea Bimefor is there tonight. And Chelsea, what's it look like right now? Well, Alan, this home is still taped off here tonight. The firefighters are gone for now, but police officers are guarding this scene tonight because there are still two victims that have not been located. They are presumably dead inside that house, but you can see here where neighbors have started a makeshift memorial here in the front yard. There's some flowers and some stuffed animals uh, for the two uh, family members that have already been confirmed dead here earlier tonight. We're going to take you to some video that a neighbor shared with us showing the back of this home. This is new video. It shows that extensive damage on the back side of this home. Public Information Officer Eric Jackson with the City of South Fulton Fire and Rescue says when firefighters arrived here around 5 o'clock this morning, the home was completely engulfed in flames. Again, he says the back side almost completely gone and debris is just everywhere. It took about an hour for them to put the fire out and then the search for the victims began. Firefighters again still looking for a woman and a juvenile tonight. We don't have any idea as to exactly where they are. So we're literally going through a house piece by piece, bit by bit. And on our, the firefighters are on their hands and knees, really just working around the debris, trying to see what they can find. So again, it's confirmed that two people are dead, a man and a woman. Firefighters will resume their search inside the house tomorrow for that juvenile and another female. At this point, it's unclear if this was all one family involved or multiple families that's still under investigation, as is the cause of this fire. Reporting live in South Fulton tonight, Chelsea Bime for Atlanta News First. Chelsea, such a tragic story.